Hey guys, it's Miss Goggins. I am here in my favorite hat for hat day for our virtual spirit week this week. I am actually wearing a beach hat because I am dying to go to the beach. I've been wanting to go for so long and it's where I plan on going for spring break, but unfortunately I'm not gonna be able to go. So I'm just gonna pretend I have a favorite beach hat and I have a shirt that I bought from my favorite beach in Gulf Shores when I went to Alabama. Um, it is my favorite beach ever and hopefully I'll get to go back soon. So here's my spirit for today. Um, but today we are going to do a science experiment. All right, so I have some soapy water. All I did was put some dish soap and some water, mixed it together. I have some straws that I stuck together and look to see what shape I made. Hmm, I wonder what that could be. It has four sides and four angles. So I'll let you guess on that. Um, I have a piece of string that I have tied into it like a little circle tied a knot in it so it'll stay I have a fork and I even have a glass and let's see what we can do with all these things so who would believe me if I told you that I could make a bubble so I'll, I'll put um, some soapy water inside here have a bubble put this piece of string on it pop it and then stick my fork through but I didn't actually pop the whole thing. Some of the bubbles still gonna be there. So I have a really cool trick I wanna show you. So let's see if you can figure out how I did it. All right, so I'm going to place my shape inside my soapy water. And then you should be able to see that that is like a bubble, like I can even blow it. So it acts like a bubble. I am going to take my piece of string and I am going to lay it inside just like that. Do you see it floating around in there? Oh no, it popped. Let me try again. You have to be very careful or it doesn't work. All right, let's try it again. All right. There's my soapy water. I'll put the string inside. All right, there we go. Now it's floating around. You see that? I'm going to pop it, but not pop the whole thing. Ready? Here we go. Look at that perfect circle. And then watch, I want to stick my fork all the way through. You see how there's still bubbles? So I can go anywhere inside this circle and I will not pop the remainder of that soapy water. Now, I go outside the circle guess what's gonna happen ready watch oh the string falls and there's no longer any bubbles all right so one more trick I want to show you I can do the same thing with a cup I don't have to use a straw so let's see if I can get a nice good bubble on that all right you see it all right, let's try to put the string in there and let's try to see if we can watch and see what happens to this one when I pop it in the middle. Oh, here it is again. Let's try it again. You gotta be extra careful. Let's see. All right, here we go. All right, there's your string. All right, ready? I'm gonna wipe off some of the bubbles on the outside so it'll be easier to see. All right, it's gonna move. See it moving down? It's going down the cup very, very slowly. But look, I can still put my fork all the way through that center hole. See that? And then on this side, right here, you still have the bubble. Now watch when I pop it. So cool. All right guys, so what I want you to do is I want you to comment down below and I want you to tell me how you think 
that how like how did it work? How come when I had my straws, I could put it in soapy water and I can pop part of it, but not all of it pop? I'm not going to tell you how. I want you to be investigators and I want you to maybe even try it out. This is super easy. You don't have to use straws if you don't have it. You can use a cup or anything just to make like a little object for that soapy water to go inside. And I want you to tell me how do you think it works? How come not the how why doesn't the whole thing pop? So I'm we looking for those comments and we'll be back tomorrow maybe with some more science experiments. See you tomorrow guys. Bye.